let's do one more sheet metal exercise in solid box see this is the r part let's say this is front view no this is top view this is front view and this is side view and we have one flatten view and there is some section view we have one bending table see all this alphabet shows the bending and here direction angle everything is written here okay so let's see this side top view you will see this side view this dimension 25 and total length of this product 100 millimeter now if you see clearly from front view the half portion is circular see the half portion is circular the bottom portion is flat so 25 millimeter so we will start from this then we will extrude 40 millimeter flange you will see flange from here to here 40 millimeter all dimensions are in millimeter bend radius 0.5 thickness 0.5 cut relief ratio 1 okay so make this one then make this bend for 20 millimeter the corner radius and length 40 millimeter let's do this top plane sketch activate center rectangle even you can change it from here start with origin just check isometric view okay 100 millimeter and 25 millimeter this width now go to sheet metal and activate tab tab or base flange now see material going to add downward side no problem 0.5 k factor factor of coefficient keep 0.5 by default now this is cut relief we need some time like while we are applying bend so keep ratio 1 means the cutout ratio also 1.5 millimeter equivalent to thickness okay let me uncheck this real view okay add okay it looks more visible now go to sheet metal edge flange now select the upper edge drag mouse upward direction now select opposite direction now we have selected two direction now here choose use default radius deactivate 0.5 this radius angle 90 degree the bend between these two now this bend how much 40 millimeter dimensions going to count from virtual sharp and material thickness inside see the material going to insert bending going to count from this sharp edge okay let's say okay again edge flange now this time i'm going to select select this one drag upside now this is the important use default radius this is going to be 20 you will see here 90 degree now height we have to keep 40 millimeter equivalent to this face but here flange position i am going to start with bend outside bending going to start the from outside edge see Now, okay, but bottom side keep as it is. Now, I want to let's close this face, select this face, sketch. Now, select this top convert entity line, start from here to end from here again come down to here now see go back to the point and this is converted into r and close with this now this point tangent flash and here flash merge result say okay see we have flat view let's mirror this mirror we have to choose one reference plane so right plane now feature to mirror choose here tab one now you see the preview say okay see 
Now let's add this bottom flange 12.5 height you will see here 12.5 distance 35 and uh, there is a gap 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 this side no gap because we have to create this flange 8 millimeter depth and uh, this flange you will simply create 0 0.5 0 0.5 and we will receive achieve this result now select this face sketch activate let's say center rectangle connect up to here similarly connect up to here exit now select these two equal Similarly, here select equal A smart dimension 12.5, the gap between these two 35. Okay, but these two located at center. Draw one horizontal line. Now select these two edges. and select the center one make relation symmetry see it seems fully defined add one hole at center so we don't need to define in next step select both the hole equal constraint apply dimensions 5 millimeter go to sheet metal base flange and add thickness see thickness going downward merge result say ok look it looks better now this is important age flange let me select this go upside now select this second one also click here drag upside choose the third one ok now make radius same 0.4 now bend 8 millimeter material inside but the let me select the first this one edit A smart dimension 0.5 millimeter gap back edge 2 edit A smart dimension 0.5 in other side also drag inside now see this edge this is the outside edge 0.5 back now here choose third edge this is the third edge edit flange now drag inside gap point 0.5 back check isometric view see make sure material inside okay see the cutout this is what the cutout we need 0.5 c length okay now there is a one gap 0.2 millimeter okay then make this flange 0.5 millimeter gap between these two then we will add this uh, corner fillet now see we have to Okay, this is already outside. Close corner. Select this one. See the gap between these two flange is going to be 0.2. C 
similarly select this side also if you select this face the other face going to faces to match going to select here here you have to choose corner type what type of corner so this middle one is going to fit our case the point 2 the gap between these two flanges is point 2 and uh, here one option called overlap so this is going to be overlap ratio going to keep 1 say ok now the gap between these two 1 millimeter edge flange now select this one drag inside similarly let me select this edge edit radius 0.5 8 now here material inside but this is going to overlap with this see so let's go up edit flange Point 0.5 this is the gap back Edge 2, edit flange. Okay, A2 we did back. Edge 1, edit flange. Now drag this flange inside length and keep the gap between these two lines 0.5. Back. Okay. Now here select. Okay see now see the cut relief ratio we keep one one means the according to one means equivalent to thickness see 0.5 the gap cut relief ratio actually now let's add these flanges uh, this ham actually first uh, you will see 525 then we will make ham 1.5 internal radius and 30 millimeter this is the radius okay this is what and then sketch corner rectangle Now select this upper edge, hold shift key, collinear and equal, A smart dimension 25, 5, center, normal view, apply at midpoint and select this line and make it vertical. See, it seems fully defined this sketch. Again, go to sheet metal, edge flange, merge result, say okay. Look, ham. Now here, hamming I am going to add. Now first one material inside, okay. The type and size, this is rolled one. Angle 30 degree 1.5, let me select this edge. Internal edge. And you will see the preview. Okay. See. Break corner 2 millimeter. Let me select this face. If you select this face, it will going to detect age and apply automatically. Now here I am going to apply select this age. Now there is no internal one, say ok, flatten view, see select normal view, right click if you want to export to DXF file, DXF file mainly used for manufacturing or if you want to convert in AutoCAD, save your destination. Now export sheet metal, now what things you want to export? this outer line let's say bend line you want to export 
the bounding box this outer line and uh, hidden edges if anything even though you can define origin but let's say okay now see bending line and outer line all the things are available just simply say click save so don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching